Sidman on the stage. Rufus, hello. Thank you. And uh, please start. OK, friends, uh, very nice to be here. It's an honor. Uh, it's an honor because I know there's a lot of smart people here. Uh, but it also because I know it's a lot of good people here, no? Is there any good people in here? Two, three? I want more good people to be in here. Uh, so I'm actually going to ask two questions to you, if you can raise your hands. How many here in this room think that they are good, not perfect? We all have our, our difficulties, no? But more good than bad. How many in this room think that they are good? Ah, the ones in the bar, I understand. Uh, you've got some work to do there. Um, the second question is that if you think that you're good, would you like to manage a company, invest in a company, or, or own a company that is doing good, well for investors and do good for, for society? How many in this room? A little fewer, but uh, enough. Thank you. That's the only collective thing I'm going to do today. Uh, the rest of the speech will be totally individualistic. Actually, it will be even, um, it will be even personal. Uh, and I will tell you a story. Uh, and I will tell you a story uh, about myself, uh, which is not that usual, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and I'm going to talk about, I'm going to start with, with the, the commercial things that I've been doing. And I started my, my career by, by doing um, uh, PhD studies in mathematical statistics and business, etc. I, uh, the, the, um, I did the work for, for um, digital strategists for, for some of the biggest companies in the world, like Mercedes and, and Samsung, Electrolux, Ikea, etc. I've been working all over the world in all the four continents, and, and uh, I have been working in, in um, uh, New York, Seoul, Singapore, all Europe, etc. Uh, but I'm also been an uh, entrepreneur, like many of you have been here uh, in, this, in this room. And uh, I started my first company when I was 19 years old. And uh, since then I have been, been uh, running around half a dozen uh, companies or something like that. Two okay exits. Uh, and behind all this, I have uh, knowledge. Uh, I'm a total freak when it comes to data. And I... Um, I've, uh, I've been, been the digital advice for WFA, I started the IAB, etc. Uh, I owned apps, some of the biggest apps in the world within the verticals, downloads of at least 50 million, uh, 50 million downloads, and I published five books. So, I am not Bill Gates, uh, but I have a decent uh, track record, uh, so to speak. And when you have a decent track record, uh, it comes with... with uh, it comes with um, having, a, having a rather good life. Um, and having a good life, and, and I have a rather good living in, in Stockholm, in Sweden. I have a uh, villa in, in Spain. And I have a, a, a beautiful apartment in, in uh, one of the Greek paradise islands. Um, and that has been fantastic until one day. And that was a couple of years ago. And that day, we came down to, to this paradise island, and it was no paradise anymore. There were children that had been, been, uh, been fleeing from, from a Syrian war. They were, were lying on, on the, the beaches. We have 1,700 people on the beaches. Uh, they had no food, no, no clothes. Uh, some of the, the fathers and, and mothers and, and children had, had died. And uh, it, it was absolutely crazy. And uh, I cried. And my, my woman cried, and we didn't know what to do. Uh, but that was the year I was, was accused for, for being one of the, the best digital marketers of Europe. And uh, then we thought that, okay, if I can use this uh, powerful, powerful tool of digital marketing for, for selling more cars to, to Mercedes and selling more mobile phones for Samsung, why can I not, not use that power to do something good, uh, good for society? So I went home to Sweden, and we had had our... I started a Facebook uh, group, and within one week, I had 2,000 members. And within another week, I had donations from, from thousands of people when coming from, from, uh, from clothes or, and, and uh, food, etc. And this is how my, my apartment looked like at that time. So luckily, 
I had two apartments. I put my, I had two sons, uh, two twins. I put them in one apartment, and the other apartment, we, we, we stored all, all these things. And we had, we were amateurs, and I went with all these things. I went, went with 43 three suitcases down to, to this paradise island. I got was sponsored by an airline and, and uh, went there with, with some uh, rock climbing friends and did, uh, did the distribution there. But once you open your heart, you cannot stop. So this was a catalyst for, for starting an NGO. And uh, we started uh, doing the, the uh, uh, we went down tracks to, to all the Greek islands. We went to, to all the Balkan routes from, from, from uh, Slovenia and Croatia, etc. No? And when Merkel and Erdogan closed the border, and we didn't have any problem, any refugee crisis in Europe anymore. Uh, the problem didn't stop, no. Uh, the problem went to, to Lebanon and Syria and Iraq instead, with 15 million uh, refugees there. So we started going there instead. And then we started for, for um, starting to go to the refugee centers in, in, in Iraq and Iraqi Kurdistan. You know, in the refugee crisis of, of, um, of Europe, we had one million uh, refugees in, in this continent, one of the, the richest continents in the world, 700 million people. In this uh, region, we have 5.5 million people, and they have 2 million refugees. So it's rather crazy there. It's not only bad for the refugees, it's, it's for the surrounding. It's, 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 a, it's a really, really, really big, big issue. But going down there, uh, that changed my life for good. Because before that, I had been looking at all these friends and people as, as victims, and they were victims. Uh, but when I came down there, I see the, vic the real victims. People that had been, been uh, slaves of, of, uh, of the worst evil in the world, of ISIS in Mosul, who had been sex slaves, who had been, been their, their men had been murdered, their, half of their children had been, been slaughtered and, and tortured uh, and raped. But when I looked them in the eyes, these old women, for the Jesidian women, uh, I looked them in the eyes, do you think I see victims? No, I see heroes. I see heroes that are working day and night to take care of the few children that they have uh, left. Uh, they are building their own houses for, for, for weeks, uh, etc., and doing some re really magical things without, without having, having anything. So that's, that's more or less changed my life. So what did I do? I, we went, we went to dis we would, did a distribution to like 70,000 people, and, and we went 17 excursions, etc. But I don't want to, to, I don't want to help 70,000 people, because there are 66 million refugees in the world. There's 260 million children without education. There's 700 million people living without poverty. So what should we do? I went home, and that, that year I wrote a letter, an open letter to Davos, to the World Economic Forum. Anyone has been there? The World Economic Forum, good. It's, it's a global elite of, of real, important people uh, from, from, uh, from companies and from, from scientists and politicians. No? And this year, uh, there was a very, very broad understanding of, of the crisis in the world. We need a broad political, uh, we need to embrace this and we need a broad political uh, solutions for this. And I say to them three things. First, these are not victims. They are victims, but they are even more heroes. So if we have the possibility to enable them instead, they would do magic for themselves, for their families, and for society. Second, the enablement of people is like we can give them the infrastructure that we have today here in the Western world. And that's the things like we've been talking about before, like, like uh, the banking, the, the internet connection, the education, of course, and the, the, all the things like uh, having a passport, etc. And that has been a problem in the analog world, and that has been difficult in the analog world, but it's not difficult anymore. Because there's a technique that, that can solve all these issues, and that technique is here already today. And that is what we all talk about here, and that's blockchain. So the third message was that what this we should not do tomorrow, this we should not do today, we should do this yesterday. Because the problems are there today, and they're huge, and the solutions are here today. Like some, some people have said here, it's not rocket science, actually. When we've been working with artificial intelligence and all these fantastic things, blockchain is not that rocket science when it comes to technique. It's about the application. Should we just start with this today, or yesterday? So, 
just in order not to tell everyone else what they should do, but actually set a good example and do something good yourself. I started my recent company, most recent company, IR, taking care of one of these issues. We are born out of the global skilling crisis of the world. You probably know, all of you, that we have 70 million people, young people in the world, that, has un that are un un unemployed. And we are going to get 70 more, 75 more million people that are going to be more in unemployed due to AI and automation. No? What most people don't know is that we're going to get 130 million more jobs due to AI and automation. So how do we do this skilling gap? How do we make these 150 million people uh, get to know the new skills in order to get the new jobs? That's called the skill gaps. The scope of this is uh, like 150 million, they, but the real scope is even bigger. It's 2.5 billion people in need of education in the world. No? Uh, and if I talk about one of the things, if I talk about how we do well for investors, it's not a small business. It's a $6 trillion business, twice as big as the, the car industry. And if I talk about doing good for society, it's the most strongest tool to make a change in this world. So who should uh, take care of this? Who should make, make, take care of the skill gaps in the world? The analog world, should they do it? They've been trying for years now, and still we have 260 million children that don't have education. Still we have education that is claimed to be good, doing good for teaching you how to be a good, teaching you for life, but not teaching you to get a uh, new job. So again, it's the digital world is doing a better job, so to speak. And that is what IR is doing. Uh, we are using new technology, not to repair old processes, which is what, what is being done today, but in actually, uh, actually innovating new processes, so to speak. And I will not talk that much about our company. I will just show you one slide, the state where we are right now. Uh, we launched the first app uh, last year, and it became the biggest app in the world. It's, it's in 165 countries, and, and uh, highest ranking on, on Google, Google Play and App Store, etc. Uh, the first AI-supported learning app in the world. Uh, right now, we're in the middle here. We're building the, the app for, for solving the, the, the skilling crisis, with all the kind of courses needed for, to do that. And we're launching the first AI <coughs> customization. So we, we have a learning that is possible to do personalization. The second thing is we're doing what, what the blockchain is secured certification in order to not be able to cheat, which is the biggest problem in the business, in order to get the credibility for mobile, mobile learning, uh, and having a bulletproof interface, et cetera. And the third thing is that we're doing gamification uh, to this, so it shall be fun also. You should not have to choose between learning and having fun, but you should be able to do the same, same thing. Instead of playing Candy Crush until you're 90 years old and you die. Uh, and the next phase, we will save the world. <laughs> Next phase, we will do all the courses that for, for nursing and, and, and for construction building, etc. But right now, it's for uh, one step at a time, so to speak. So, but I will not, not mumble anymore about uh, our company. The thing is that uh, we are alone, and we don't want to be alone. There's a lot of things to be done. So, two months, two weeks ago, we announced the joint venture between us and two companies, and they're called Sid. And they're called uh, Dope Card. Anyone from you here today? Okay. We are working like, like a school of fish instead of uh, working like a big, big, unflexible shark, so to speak. And the first application that we are doing, the first project, is in Ghana. And we're enabling half a million young students there. It's a project where, that is uh, supported by the Ministry of Education and 24, uh, 25 universities. And in the pipeline, we have another project like this with, with 3 million people in Nigeria. We have tax, taxi organizations, we have, have coffee shops waiting on the line uh, to do the similar things. And some other countries, and some shake, actually. So that's what we're doing. And, and uh, why do we do this? It's because we have a common denominator. We like what is being done by UA, the UN and the SGG, SGD goals. We like the objectives of the World Economic Forum in Davos, but we think it takes too long time, and we're impatient. We don't want to talk anymore. We want to act. So what we're doing is these three things. We're helping the unconnected people to get connected. 
That's what Sid is doing. They have a marvelous US patent for, for mobile sharing. The second thing is, is uh, helping the uneducated to be educated, the skilling. That's what we're doing. We also have a marvelous uh, project for, for doing the, the best mobile learning that is secure and fun and efficient. And third, we have the, the unbanked people where we provide, where the, the company Dopecard provides a very, very simple banking uh, that feels more like social media than a boring, uh, boring bank, so to speak. So what will happen next? I don't know. There's a lot of things to be, be done out there, uh, and I don't know. It might be the green tech. It might be that we need to help with, with some uh, online coaching when it comes to health. It might be doing some of these things that you have been talking about here, like being able to do donations without cutting, uh, with cutting all the administration out, etc. I don't know. You tell me. And then when you tell me, after that you join me. Because we're going to do some very, real good to, to this world. And we're not going to wait anymore. We're going to make some difference. We can do it. And because we can, we are going to do it. That could have been the last slide, yeah? We are doing good for society. But what about the other thing? I just I said that we also can do well for, for investors, no? And uh, I cannot talk for Dopecard or Sid, the other companies. Uh, I could, because they're really good companies. I, I, would, I would invest in them. I actually will. Uh, but I can only talk for my, my own company, IR. There's a rule out there that says that if you take care of, of, of a small problem, then you get a small company. If you get to take care of a big problem, you will get a bigger company. And taking care of education in the world is one of the biggest businesses in the world. So, with volumes uh, like that, uh, there, will, there will be some, some uh, significant uh, business, so, so to speak. Actually, the, the highest ranked uh, futurist by Google uh, claimed some years ago that the biggest co digital company in the world would be a digital school. And we will become that digital school. Whatever it takes, we will become that digital school. So there's business there. And if, you, um, um, if you're an experienced businessman, you know how to uh, reduce your acquisition cost and increase your, your lifetime value, well, the business comes by itself when you have those kind of volumes. So we are doing good uh, for welfare investors also. But the best is, of course, that we can do good for, for with welfare investors and do good for society. I'm 100% sure we can, and because we can, we will do. Thank you.